Hey everyone, Shikari Dill here. We finally have some details and specifics on what we can expect from Ascension Season 8 as the trailer has officially dropped. Now I've already sort of discussed my thoughts on the initial announcement and merging of Alar, so go check out that video if you are interested. But I did a stream where I watched the Season 8 trailer and kind of did a first impression with some of you guys who were joining me for the stream. That was a lot of fun, so thanks to everyone who came out. But I just wanted to create like a, a video version of my first reacts to the trailer where I sort of give my thoughts and opinions and discuss the new season. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at the Season 8 Ascension trailer. Um, I'm a bit excited for this. Um, you know, season eight, I think is we've been really needing something on Ascension to really kind of, I guess, like give us something more to do, give us more content because the population on LAR went down quite a bit, uh, unfortunately, which is why they had to get rid of the server or kind of merge it with A52. So I'm excited to take a look at the season eight trailer with you guys right now. Let's get a first impressions kind of like first reacts. Uh, video going for uh, the Ascension Season 8. So without further ado, let's go. Your okay. Storm into Azeroth in Ascension's biggest season ever. Let's go, hype. Let's go, boys. And the very elements themselves are yours to control. The very Welcome elements. To season eight. We're going to be able to tame like elementals now. Okay, okay. Be like an elemental mage, Join us shaman. On Ascension's biggest season so it's been confirmed we're getting a draft. That's totally fine. Uh, I, I don't mind draft servers. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, I know a lot of people are either going to be, they're going to either love it or hate it. A lot of people are like, eh, draft is whatever. It sucks because RNG. But yeah, to be fair, I like the RNG. I think it really adds to like, it really pushes me to want to uh, prestige and whatnot. Um, but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So it's not optional. That's for sure. It's definitely so. It says fresh start un, unleashed draft realm. So let's see what they gotta say if they're making any changes or any good changes to the draft mode. Let's find out. Half of the first of season eight's four chapters. Every enhancement is designed four chapters. to unleash your potential. So they're breaking it down the into four chapters. Of a Interesting. Unleashed. Season eight see how they're gonna break it down. Is it gonna be by phase or? What? To unlock your potential, discover your build, and forge whoa, whoa, your fantasy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, hold up. The rewards of a world unleashed. Serpent form? There's going to be a serpent form? Did I... What is this? This looks interesting. We'll take a look at what this season has to hold. Ascension has grown larger than ever. League True. 3 and Season 7 both set records for highest population for their respective game modes. Yeah, and Season 7 was pretty big at some at one point. Both game modes on Ascension. In Season 8, you won't have Before to it fell to off a cliff. Your favorite game enchantments are enchantments scattered throughout okay, the world. Okay, so World Forge. Depth. Are these different from regular enchants? World Forge, it looks like they want to promote people going into the world more. Not tradable. Oh, Everyone there it is. Just go to the auction house to search Look, up the there World it is. Forge enchantment and copy you. This means that enchantments you discover and earn make you truly Okay, interesting. Unique. I think I like that. these enchantments are realm-wide once added to your collection. So, what I like about this so far is... Okay, here's the thing. Does it suck that you see a cool ability, you see a build that you want to do, and you're like, well, I can't get that because it's a world drop? Yes, but at the same time... If there's a lot of world enchantments, that means there's going to be, if, if like, if there are a lot, I'm talking a lot of world enchantments, there could be a lot of really cool and potentially unique builds running around. And I mean, like, in the fact that if you see someone rocking an ability you don't have because it's a world enchant, you can actually kind of admire that build and say, like, whoa, dude, that build is really cool. That spell is really sick. Where did you get it? Or um, they'll say, you know, I just got it out in the world exploring, you know? I really, the, the world enchants is a way for people to actually have a little bit of variety in their build because not everyone is going to get the same world enchants. Uh, assuming the world enchants are, there's a big list of them, right? If there's a small list of world enchants, then okay, fine. Everyone's going to be finding a bunch of drops of those, right? But if these world enchants are like, there's a lot of them, like multiple pages of lists of world enchants, it's super, it's super possible that we could see people running around with abilities that we've never seen before and been and can kind of go wow that's really cool that's a really cool build that you made out of that unique spell or that unique enchant 
So um, I kind of like that. I think that's really cool. I think that's kind of um, kind of unique, something that is different. Uh, I you know it's you know usually you just go to the auction house and buy whatever enchant you need. Period. That gets kind of boring. So I kind of I kind of like this change. This is cool. Thinking of doing one max through quest instead of vaults. busting dungeons on start. Yeah, true. The type of Absolutely. It, it, you won't have to farm it uh, promotes people. Unlock a powerful PvP promotes people going out in the world doing quests. Worldforged when adventuring throughout Azeroth, there are times when you need the right tool for the right job. All right. Or a certain spell or skill would help immensely. True. But in the past. You've been limited if you were to go out in the world, which nobody does, tools on classes. You never had enough ability essence or ability gems to warrant spending them on spells and skills. Oh, uh, true. Use in certain situations. Absolutely this true. This is like this is like when you need something like like fire ward, like they're showing in, in the in the video, like or when you need like ice ward, like who's gonna use that? Like that is so situational. Right, like those abilities are so situational. Why would you ever waste your your talent essence or you know your uh, ability essence on those things? In that category, without lowering your chance okay. to get more rares. Okay. All right. For example, cool. this means by learning any paladin seal, you unlock get all seal them? mastery. With seal mastery, yeah. future seals will only cost ability essences. You That's really big. You'll have the flexibility to take seal of righteousness, wisdom light and more to do this is big this is what i was talking about i like this change they need to do the same thing with weapon enhancements for shaman shaman enhancements this is really big this allows you to take a bucket of abilities and just put a couple points into the the main bucket and now you don't have to spend on all the individuals within that bucket you know what i'm saying like likewise if you learn hunter aspect mastery You'll be able to learn aspects like Hawk, Beast, Cheetah, Pack, Monkey, Viper, and more without spending good, all of good your rare change. ability gems. Amazing change. That's all I gotta say. This allows you the freeze are just one of talent many loadouts. To oh my versatile. gosh. Guys, I've been asking for talent loadouts for months. This is the one thing I wanted so badly. How many times do we build these specs out and then we have like four different talents or three different talent combinations we could do for that one build, right? Holy crap, this is amazing. Actually amazing change. Talent loadouts debut. You can just might be my favorite change so far. The same build in a variety of content. Yeah, exactly. It's dungeons, raids, battlegrounds, mythic. Guys, I have like an evoker build. I can do like two, three different talent sets for it. Like it's really dumb to be, well, it is dumb to be locked down to one talent set for one build. So I'm so glad they're making this change. This is a great, great change. Plus, to unlock your talent loadouts, obtain a Tome of Talents. Using this scroll will unlock the talent uh, loadout for the specialization. Dude, Tome of Talents. How much you guys want to bet you're going to have to shell out real money for that? Dude, they better give us at least one free talent set up like that we can swap between because if ugh, please no i don't oh no dude really that's so dumb i don't think something like this should be behind do donation points this should be baseline free for everyone because this is such a huge change seizing your destiny should be a whirlwind adventure this isn't fate shouldn't yeah this sucked this this was this was our crappy interface. This was really bad. B seventeen clicks away, and with the new hand of fate UI. And oh my gosh! Thank goodness, they revamped the UI. Holy moly! Oh, it looks so good. In season eight what? specialization. Oh area. my gosh! You can even you can even allocate your 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 marks to just mass buy them. Holy crap! In season eight. The technology is here, boys. Sculpting your fate, is you unleash your potential through the abilities so, you choose. So my thing so far is hopefully they get to content. Hopefully they get around to talking about what actual new content there is because this is all great. Quality of life is great, but that isn't why I left Ascension. I could, I, I mean, not left Ascension, but took a huge break and got burnt down on Ascension. I can take the crappy UI stuff. That's fine. The UI increases a better. You know, better UI stuff is fine, but I, I'm really hoping we get to new content, right? New stuff to do, you know. 
making them an integral part. We're not that far in, so the skills you master unlock okay. paths to okay. okay, cool. Bloodbath execution set. Ooh, ooh, I love that ability in retail. The more choice Lava burst, okay. To express yourself Shuriken toss, okay. Season eight elemental to blast. Oh, Pog. Available I love elemental blast. So That's that a fun ability in retail. You want. Ring of frost, burning okay. Rushes, burning rush. Rains, orbs, glaives, and so more. Toss is from Eugen. And the ways you can realize your destiny and separate yourself AOE from bleed the okay crimson tempest is good kill sh Ooh, kill shot limits, okay some all new star surge oh boys wait star surge costs star surge is in retail and that costs astral power are we gonna get a new resource raging blow is a fury warrior ability from retail that's a really fun ability to use if for fury warrior cool i like that and in season eight, you'll be in your element. You ah, can get it. Elements. Elementals, elements. Further expanding the ways that you can customize your hero. Yeah, you but let's be honest, they're probably gonna suck. The shaman elemental tree, and it works just These the like enslaved dragon, demons and like undead and dragons demons. and undead, they're Using all bad. It, you can tame dozens the, the, of the different pets types are just of bad. elementals. Harness fire. I'll just be honest, unless they do something different with them, they're bad. Unique death, so it is. Phoenix and Mojo elementals. Whoa. With their own okay, well, they better do something. They better do damage. If they're not contributing Delving to my DPS, then I don't care about them. Is Forget it. Experience for okay, all PV heroes. improvements, this and is big. Big. And raids, there was a huge difficulty gap between heroic and ascended True. On True. There was a massive difficulty. It wasn't even close. It was there, it was not even close. Like it was you were you were doing normals, which were like a joke, completely joke. Heroic, which you know was fine, not too difficult, but it was doable for the most part. It was pretty easy, and then ascended, which is like absolutely insane difficulty, like um, just a massive step up. <laughs> I remember that being a thing. Art and failed to bridge the gap. Mythic raids are a brand okay, new. Okay, there's raid the mythic raids Grizz was talking about. The gap between heroic and ascended. Okay. Mythic raids will be flexible. And I would like to raid more often too. Something great. Like and with the talent, the new talent loadout system, it encourages me to stick with one build and actually just do different versions of that same build. So, I'm looking forward to being able to just play maybe one or two builds and stick with it. I know I said that for season seven, but I can't help it, boys. I'm an altaholic. I can't help it. When you see your this is cool because now we can actually go into raids that people have started and not be locked out. This is raiding for the week. Raid with confidence. They're, they're like, they know it's just like an issue and like you recruit that one guy who just you get through the first boss with and they just they just suck for the rest of the raid. They can't do anything else. And you're like, guys, this was a mistake. We, we, we took the wrong guy here. You know what I'm saying? At least now that raid isn't ruined anymore. Now you can kick him and be like, I see it. Your adventure. I wonder how many guilds mythic mythic raiding is gonna kill. I assume a lot. Having a clear the Ascension UI. transmog UI is horrend Horrend they said it. They said it, not me. Horrendous. I think that's a good way to sum up this UI. Endlessly outdated. Yep. You can't store an infinite number of sets. No. Nope. And you have to keep items you want to save in your in bags, your bag, your bank, which is you want to use them in new the outfits. biggest offense of the transmog order. system. Introducing the new transmog UI. With the new transmog yes! UI, you can quickly browse, yes! select, and apply transmogrification to Thank your gear you. quick and easy. It also allows for boys. I think I I think this solidified. Me wanting to actually play this game and do old content and do old fun raids with the with, with the viewers, with the chat. Guys, this is cool. This is what I wanted. This is what I do on retail. Now I can do it on Ascension. Dope. Favorite cosmetics in the new UI. Oh no, dude. But are you seeing are you still seeing it? Look right here. It's still it it still costs runes of trans transmog. Do you know how expensive those are just to switch sets? You're going to need like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, unless it only takes one. If, if it equals one set. Yeah. If it only, if one rune of transmog can get you an entire set. Okay, fine. But if this is going to require one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight, nine different transmog runes, like we took us, we took like, yeah, we took a big four step forward. 
But then we kind of just took a half a half step back. Part of the reason why I hate the transmog system, yes, because you know the UI sucked and you couldn't store your stuff. But the the runes were terrible. They're expensive. They're I like the direction. I like the new stuff, but they're so clearly pushing people into spending real money. They're like they're like clearly pushing people into spending money in the cash shop, and I don't like that. I think it's dumb. Like I think the cash shop should be there as an optional thing that people can buy for cool additional transmog that is exclusive. Exclusive, right? That's fine. But now you're just punishing people who want to engage in a normal regular system on the game in the game the server that everyone has access to now you're just preventing people who are leveling or people who don't have a lot of access to gold like for no reason other than you want to make more cash you want to make more gold or yeah more money i i don't know I like this a lot, but the runes the, the the runes of transmog have to be cheaper. They're new, or they need to be earnable through honor or just like better means. You know, I hate I hate this push towards the donation shop. It's hard to like. There's there's a there's a flat sum fee right when you do transmog on retail. You just it's like a flat fee. It's not too expensive. It's fine. But this you have to buy each rune individually, and those runes individually end up being like, like. 40 50 gold each so like it costs a lot of gold just to transmog this entire set if you need like seven of these i'm hoping that isn't the case but we'll see what we'll see what happens we'll see what happens hopefully you just need one create your ideal outfit and solidifying ui receives oh, new okay. functionality to make crafting easier and more oh wow modern. that's really interesting it now includes a search and filter options to locate okay. recipes a lot easier. that's really nice and a new crafting queue option allows you to create multiple different items. bro we don't even have this on retail i don't think <laughs> like this is this is like brand new i know in dragonflight we're getting a new we're getting a new crafting ui but it's with a single click Letting you trying to be with dragonflight to craft in order additionally you can also use the they probably set this up in less time than blizzard and receive hints as to their source i gotta say of all the of all the updates tab targeting wasn't something i was expecting um i was not expecting an actual like fundamental like gameplay change to like how wow works as a game function function functionality wise yeah, of all the changes, this is the one I least expected. But welcome change. Welcome change, sure. Next target range and introducing chapters. Chapters, chapters okay. Chapters are exciting points in the season where massive change can be expected. Chapters, aka patches. Yeah, let's just call it what they let's just call them what they are. They're patches. The this is what this is a fundamental game design and you know I'm glad they're labeling it such as chapters so they have like a more defined like this is when chapter one starts or two starts whatever but this is what a fundamental game cycle looks like this would be called a patch in world of warcraft patch 7.2 patch 7.3 so cool i'm glad that they're you know they're doing that but this is something i was looking forward you know in season seven they, you know, I found that they didn't really make too many crazy changes during the season seven. So, at least they're calling it chapters. So we're getting a patch cycle. That's good. The seasonal tab right here. Bro, this character. this UI is bugged. Like the, the the seasonal tab just didn't do anything for like ever. I, I'm glad that they're they're doing something with it now. But could I get my stuff from last season? Like I swear, I, I, I swear I'd be at like in season seven. I'd be at the last the last tier. Which means I should get a whole slew of rewards that I don't have, right? So, am I right or wrong? Like, like. Advanced section. If you put in the effort to reach Exalted, you'll now have it across all characters you make on that realm. Blizzard Heroes could take notes on that. Accumulation. True. Now, season seven, Burning Crusade was the best iteration of high risk to date. Uh, I guess the TBC high risk was pretty good. I mean. Look, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really do much high risk in TBC, but I did it for a little bit. But as far as I know, basically TBC high risk is when all the high risk community completely stops playing. So I, I guess, could you really claim that your high risk was the best 
was at its peak when during that peak all of your players left? I don't know about that. I'm not sure. I don't think you could claim this was the best. However, there were a lot of cool updates, but a lot of people did not like the TBC high-risk stuff, from what I understand. They basically lost their entire PvP community. <laughs> but we'll see how they update it here. So you hostile to NPCs? I hate this debuff. You know how many times I kill people by mistake? Like, I'll just be dueling, and then I'll just randomly get this for like 15 minutes. It's so annoying. How do I how do I prevent myself from getting this when I'm dueling people? It's it's really frustrating sometimes. <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool that you can do this though, but you know, not when I'm dueling. Faction. In season 8, tier 3 zones are for the most bloodthirsty heroes Blood seeking thirsty. sweat and conquest. Tier 3 zones offer no protection. There is no fell Excuse me. And Excuse me. Who caught that? Who saw that? You, did, you, did you just see what they're implying there? The most bloodthirsty heroes seeking sweat and conquest. Huh? Tier three zones oh, offer let me no back that protection. Up. There is no okay. fell Okay. And anyone these who dev, dies these devs are will on some drop gear. You are people. in high risk. High risk. Everyone can participate in these regardless of. I hate these trailers because the character models, the characters that you all. Like in these trailers, always look way better than my character will ever look ever. Because these are all paid transmogs. This is subliminal messaging. They're literally saying, "Look how cool our characters are. Please buy our stuff." Who activated the event? And you can collect materials even if you don't have the profession. Except this. This is done through prestiging, but this takes forever to get. It's like you need like a hundred prestige runs to get the full set. Screw that. So you're never limited. Maybe to I'm what halfway types there, but still. You can acquire. In season eight, craft items most beneficial. I didn't see them saying they were going to nerf Booming Thunder on here yet. When is that section coming up? Both core and demon That's a thing, right? Meaning you'll know exactly when is the Booming Thunder nerf come up? You need, and even if you this 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 mechanic, this system is made for the top one percent of people who are going to have the builds to be able to actually do this, like. They keep pushing the roof at the percentage of like high risk players are willing to do stuff at like, OK, you know, high risk tier three zones, maybe even less people than tier two stuff. OK, cool. Now you have these crazy blood forge chests with like you got to run all the way back to Orgamar if you need to if you want to keep it or open it and your build has to be insane. Like, holy moly, guys. This is going to be for like the top three PVPers on the server to do this. Like, who the heck is going to be able to do this stuff? do lose it keep in mind that that chest looter will now inherit your no retreat as well giving you ample opportunity to chase him down and start ah, yes i love if the good old warrior stealth the build and return good stuff. to the city the spoils are yours to keep unleash that uh Until that then, release heroes, date we'll see you roaming azeroth take it easy oh uh, guys it's right next to the pre-patch for dragonflight which by the way dragonflight has its own system in which you customize your class with their new talent system. So there's going to be a lot of theory crafting that weekend. Uh, a lot. Really cool. Um, are they really going to compete with Dragonflight? Hey, Diff, how you doing? Yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. They're competing with they're competing with the, the, the pre-patch of Dragonflight. They're put, I don't know if they're rushing this to compete with it, but I, I'm rooting for them. I'm hoping that they do well, and I'm going to be playing on release date, too. But Dragonflight pre-patch is something I'm really, really looking forward to because of the class talent revamps, which basically has an Ascension vibe all of its own. Yeah, so it's going to be iffy. Uh, look, I'll play Season 8. I'm going to play on launch. I'm going to make a bunch of content for it. It's going to be great, but I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm really excited for Dragonflight.